Hello there, here's a video on custom NPCs, tactic number 11. This is Minecraft 1.16.5. And uh, this script uh, has this uh, Ravager charging at you, and he will charge at you in a straight line uh, to your last position that uh, he saw you, kind of. And so he won't necessarily turn when you're close to him. Uh, this was inspired by a question from Purple Emerald on the Discord, so I'd like to give some credit there. And let me just show you, uh, it's, uh, this Ravager is aggroed at about uh, 15, and these blocks, that second one is about 20. So if I get closer, there we go. Now you can see it's charging at me. Oops. And if I do get within one block, it will attack, but it has to be like one block away. Its speed is set pr pretty fast here, and I will show you. how it's done here in a second. See, that was a good one. It just went right by me. Whoops. Okay. Um, yeah, I've been playing around with the speed and uh, different things. I'll show you what the script does here. In here we have... Um, uh, this is a speed in Navigate 2. Uh, overrun. Now that is its X and Y position. It overruns my last position by a little bit. Uh, right now it's set at four. And how that does it, it gets a uh, position between me and the Ravager and it normalizes that distance. And so that's like a vector. So I just take the overrun. Um, which is four times the uh, end pause, which is the uh, vector. Zero is would be the x, and uh, there, there's the uh, a normalized uh, vector is, uh, is an array of x, y, and z. So this is zero is x, and two would be z, uh, y would be one. Uh, so that's what's going on with the navigation. Now then, so, and this distance between is handles the timer of when it resets itself. So when it starts to um, charge at me, it, it sets its aggro range to 1. Uh, and it cancels my the attack target. So, so once it this is in the target function, and so it cancels the attack and sets the aggro to one. Um, so if I'm, I would have to be within one for it to retarget me. In the timer, then when the timer goes off, it resets its aggro to 15 and clears the navigation. Um, any sort of thing that's left over there. Uh, but the interesting thing is that uh, some t once it started targeting me, it sometimes wouldn't stop because it uh, it this would not run again because it it wouldn't retarget me if if you understand that because I was still within its fifteen um, its range so target never target has to run again for this to force it to do the charging so how I got around that was I have a second timer here if it attacks me it uh, it, it, it sets its target to null and then it runs this again just to, to reset so just in case because sometimes it would be it, it would continuously aggro me and it would stay within a range of one or so.
and uh, the target would never run again. So it was kind of, it, it didn't really respond right. Um, you could play around with this aggro range, maybe make it two. Like I said, a lot of these things, um, this this is the, uh, so if the distance between is 15 and divide by 15, that will give the timer 100 ticks to um, reset it. So, and if it's the distance between is less, that number is going to drop down. Um, I played around with some of these. I think the speed, I don't know, it, it seems like the speed doesn't hold at 5. It seems like it's maybe better at 3. Um, let me try that maybe here. Overrun 4, that seems to work pretty good. I had that set on 2 and 3. I think 4 works good. But we'll try the speed. Sometimes NPC speed is not all that reliable. Where'd he go? Oh, he almost fell over the edge there. Yeah, he's he is moving kind of slower here, which I kind of like. Yeah. It's not bad. So you can you can see his his overrun and his ch charging misses there. But if if I actually see, he will continuously, even though his target is set to null, he will attack me. His strength is set at 1, so he's very weak. And so that's it. Tactic number 11. Thanks for watching.